Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of Cardboard World. In today's video we're going to be making the most famous Infinity War weapon. This is Thor's Stormbreaker and we're going to be showing you how you can make it yourself and what you require for this amazing build. So first things first, let's go over the list of what you need. You're going to be needing a wire, you're going to be needing a pen wape, a battery pack with LEDs, these are blue LEDs and there's a switch also. What I have here is a water pump that's going to be used for the wape, a pipe, and lastly we're going to be using a handle which is completely made out of wood. This is real wood. So we're going to be starting off with making a hole inside the handle so the wape pen can completely go inside and stay hidden in the handle like this. Secondly, we're going to be working on the design and what I've done is that I've taken measurements and I'm going to be working on the hammer side of the weapon first and each and everything should be lined up once we have taken the measurements we're going to be cutting the pieces that we need to cut we're going to be working on the hammer side of the weapon first as you can see that I've made the front part of the hammer and I'm working on the sides once the sides are ready we're going to be working on the other pieces and we're going to be hard gluing them together to form a very strong structure. In between these uh, pieces, what are we going to what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be leaving a bit of places um, empty for the LED lights to be emitted. As you can see, that I'm drawing them out right now, and I will cut these pieces out. So if there's LED inside, the light will be emitted through these parts. And there will be a few parts on the sides as well, which you can see later on in the video. So guys, uh, I think it is ready now. So as you can see, the cuts have been made. Now we're going to be working on the pump. This is a small pump. Guys, this is a small motor and uh, the purpose of this motor is to uh, have the smoke available inside the weapon. And um, what I've done is that I've connected it inside the hammer. As you can see, it's inside with the battery pack. Now we're going to be working on the axe side of the weapon. These are going to be on top and the bottom. Two transparent uh, strips. Now we're going to be drawing out the, the pieces for the axe. Now I've got the pieces and all I have to do is just glue them together. I have to keep a little bit of distance in between these two pieces so I can place the LED lights and the battery pack inside. As you can see the, the space is sufficient for the battery pack. Now I'm going to be placing the axe part. Okay guys, now the tricky part would be that how you can connect both of these parts, the axe and the hammer part on the wooden handle. So what I've done is that I have taken an aluminium piece, I have uh, bolted it on top of the wooden handle and both of these structures completely are glued on top of the aluminium strip. As you can see that I've connected the battery, uh, the LED, the pump, each and everything is inside with the battery pack. Guys, as you can see that I've hollowed out the front part of the axe and I've placed a plastic strip on top of it. Uh, this is because once I glue the uh, foam pieces on top of it and the lights are turned on, the lights will be emitted through these uh, semi-transparent uh, plastic pieces. So as you can see that I have placed foam uh, each on each and every place where I want it to be uh, and the whole structure is ready for the first coat of the paint. Uh, this is quite uh, decent. Um, I'm quite happy with how it's, uh, it's turning out to be. And as you can see, uh, this is... Uh, Slightly bigger than the other pieces I've seen, uh, the other people uh, who have worked on the uh, Stormbreaker. Slightly bigger, but this is my understanding and this is how um, I think it should be. Okay guys, now we're going to be working on the bottom part of the handle. As you have seen in the movie that there's a slight tilt on the bottom of the 
handle of the Stormbreaker. So for that I'm going to be using a plastic uh, bottle and I'm going to be cutting a small piece and I'm going to be joining it at the bottom of the handle. So once I've done that, I'm going to be covering it with a thin layer of foam to make it look like it's a part of the wood and it's not something that's added additionally. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to be using hot glue uh, and uh, try to make a texture of wood on top of the foam before I paint it. So that's going to look like it's a part of the wood. Okay, so we're almost ready now. What I'm doing is that I'm going to be making small pieces at the bottom of the uh, cardboard and the foam that I've connected to make it look like it was a piece of branch. So I'm ready now. I'm going to be applying the hard glue. I'm going to be using a bit of hard glue on the joint uh, so it's not visible once it's uh, painted. Uh, this technique has uh, really come in handy for me and you would see that the end result will be very decent as well and it would not be like there is a additional piece that was added afterwards it looks like it will look like that it's a part of the handle okay so almost done here okay guys now we're going to be working on the branches that go over the handle of the hammer uh, the, for this I'm going to be using rope. I will tape them and I will have them painted brown and I will place them on top of the uh, hammer. So guys as you can see it's uh, painted. Uh, it looks quite decent. This is the pocket for the whip. And I've used uh, the same rope for the grip also but a single layer. This is the final look of the hammer after the whole paint job has been completed. It looks amazing. As you can see the LEDs are uh, coming out beautifully. The smoke is working. This is the wape working its magic. It looks amazing, it looks beautiful. The pump inside is making the smoke come out beautifully. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed it, do mention it in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like anything in the video, let me know. And if you have any questions, do let me know also and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, you have been great. You've been supporting me. You've been liking my videos. And I'm quite happy with the response that I'm getting with you guys. Thank you so much once again and uh, uh, take care. God bless you.